Hello. So this is my second time recording this video because I don't think the last time I taped it was good enough. So this is take two. Okay. So <laughs> I I'm doing good guys. Um so what I want to talk about today is these people, I want, okay, I want to talk about what inspires me. So, I have, I watch a lot of YouTube. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I've always wanted to make my own content. I've, I'm actually gonna go to college to be a film director and writer. Um, that's all, what I've always wanted to do, and I think I'm going to make documentaries because I actually really like history, and I think it would be really neat, but I'm going to talk about things that inspire me and that I hope maybe inspire you one day, or you go check them out and see if they help you in any way. So, this one thing, it came up, um, I got this video idea because I was actually looking at colleges and doing homework and so on and so forth and usually I listen to music or I just do it in silence and I remembered that these this YouTube this channel that I watch has a podcast right now and uh, I decided to check it out and so I checked it out and I inspired me so much like I've been watching this channel for two years and they've inspired me a lot anyways but this them just talking and not and like not like actually watching it and just listening in my own mind and not like being like feeling like I was like there watching it and you know, I, I don't know if you get what I'm saying but basically listening to them like really made me think and usually when I watch them I'm just like watching them and I'm like oh yeah that's cool blah blah but listening to them really put me in a place where I'm like actually listening to this podcast and it really inspired me and so the podcast is actually by this channel called Yes Theory and the podcast is called Yes Theory Podcast um, and Yes Theory basically encourages people, it's a group of guys, who encourage people to say yes and get them out of their comfort zone, and make them do what they've always wanted to do, and, um, it's, it's really good, and so this particular episode of the podcast was about chasing your dreams, and... I actually wrote down my favorite quote from the whole episode, and it says, um, I don't remember what his name is, I think it was Matt who said it, um, it says, if you are feeling that discomfort or that unsettling and unknowing, if you should do this thing or not, just picture yourself laying on your deathbed looking back on this moment where you are right where you are right this second right now and ask your future self if you regret not doing it and if the answer is you will regret it then you have to do it and that really stood out to me because when i get a like chance to do something and i'm like yeah, I don't know. This, like, made me think, maybe I should have done those. Maybe I should do those things. And one of the things, actually, that really stood out to me as well was, um, I believe it was the therapist they talked to said that fall in love, fall in, falling in love is the biggest risk you can take. And the worst thing they can do is say no. And the world, and, um, 
they told a story about this guy and how he asked the girl out and she said no and he was like it was the best thing that ever happened to him because he the worst possible thing happened to him and the world didn't end and that really stood out to me as well and I didn't even write that down I just remembered that so that's funny um but at the very end the whole thing was about um chasing your dreams and how to seek a chance that um if you're scared to do it just you should just do it anyways because you might regret not doing it and at the very end um the chat their yes theory challenge was to write a bucket list or what you want to do in the future or what you always wanted to do or see or experience and um so I took a break from studying and I decided to write mine because of course I've always talked about oops um I've always talked about what I wanted to do I've always told my friends and I think I'm the like I'm not the most talkative person that doesn't seem like that on here, of course. Obviously, I can talk a lot. And this is going on the internet. And everyone that I know and possibly... I don't know. They're, they're all going to see this and they're going to know I'm freaking nuts and don't shut up. Um, but most of my friends know that I want to be a filmmaker and director or whatever. And that was actually one of the very first things I wrote. I said... Um, my list was what I want to experience, and the very first thing I wrote was write and direct my own film. Um, and I wrote more. I wrote that I want to go to college. I will be the first one since my great grandfather or my great great grandfather who's been to college. Um, I want to travel around the world. I actually want to start in like California and I want to go all the way around the world and land right back in California. But that I think that would be really neat. I want to experience cultures. I want to make friends in different areas. I want to I want I want to experience um I actually wrote Experience life in another country from a local's ex um, a local's perspective. I want to inspire someone. I'm sure I don't do that because I don't talk. <laughs> but um, they actually say in the podcast that if you do what you want, you're already inspiring someone. You inspire someone to do something they want to do. And so hopefully... I'm achieving that right now. Um, I put, um, I want to win an Oscar. I mean, I want to reach 5 million on YouTube one day. I want to explore the remains of the, ti of the Titanic. I want to discover something new. I'm really into history. Um, so I want to like go out to Egypt and, or something and, be with the archaeologist and dig up bones or find a uh, coffin with a pharaoh we have never seen or heard about. Um, or go out in the sea and find a new sea creature. I don't know. I think it would be cool to discover something new. I want to... Um, I really want to plan and pay for a huge family trip. I want to take my entire family somewhere either whether that be Disney World because I really want to go to Disney World or somewhere warm LA not I don't know wherever they want to go I guess um I want to go ghost hunting with actual ghost hunters I do go ghost hunting um and with like friends but it's not it will I think it'd be more interesting if I go with like actual youtubers 
or not, not YouTubers, actual ghost hunters, because, like, they have all the cool gadgets and stuff, and who, who knows if the gadgets actually work, because, like, I, there could be a ghost behind me right now. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I want to be on an episode of Family Feud. I think that would be so awesome. And I know my family would freaking be so good at that. Like, we watch it so much that we would, we would just win. Like, automatically win. Um, yeah. I want to stay in a super fancy hotel. So, <laughs> I don't know why, but I think it'd be cool to, like, go to a hotel in Paris and, like, be in a big room with, like, big windows and French doors and it would just be so cool and like I'm already into that like girly stuff anyways and like oh every time I see it like see the uh, the um what's it called the um, uh, museums there like on videos and pictures I'm just like I want to go there so bad I want to see the Eiffel Tower. I want to go to the museums and there. I want to... I, I think I just want to do that so bad. And I think it'd be so cool to do. And I've never been on a plane. So... I, I might be on a plane and be freaked out. Honestly. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to Paris. And then... Cry. <laughs> um, but, Yeah. I wanted to talk about that, <laughs> but these, these, they, um, yes, they actually took a girl, they did, um, a rent-a-friend or something, and they actually took her and did things that she wanted to do on her bucket list, which I thought was pretty cool. There's also another YouTuber that really inspires me, um, his channel is called Fearless and Far, and his message is basically, ki it's kind of simula similar, it's, um, do things with fear, but don't let fear hold you back. And he really inspired me a lot with, like, culture and stuff. I've always been really big into culture. I have been taking Spanish class since sixth grade. And honestly, I love, like, learning the culture about Spanish. And actually, when I was signing up for classes this year, I was like, do, I asked my guidance counselor, I was like, do you, do we have any other culture classes? And she was like, besides French? No. So, I didn't really, I'm not really in any culture classes this year. I didn't take Spanish again. Um, so, which I'm actually kind of sad about, because maybe I would have learned something new. I, you never know. But, I, he really inspires me. He really makes me want to go out to different countries and try different foods and be with um like a family from spain or someone from the philippines or um and experience what their life is like because i know what my life is like and everyone's story is different like i my neighbor's story is totally different than my story here living here in new hampshire like, my, na my neighbor's life in New Hampshire is totally different. And that blows my mind. And I just think it would be so cool to live, like, other people's... Not not live their lives, but, like, experience what they experience, you know? Like, what they eat in a day. What they have for breakfast. Um, their, what they do on a walk to work. Or, um, what kind of sports they play. You know? I just think it'd be cool. And so, they, they, um, really inspired me to work harder for what I want. To actually put the effort in to do something that I want to do. And I'm actually taking a psychology class right now. And we talked about med meditation in the very first, like, first day of school. And, um, I was actually surprised because in the podcast, they, Yes Theory podcast, they talked about meditation. And I was like, oh, I remember learning about that. And 
I was thinking, I was like, maybe I should try meditation. Maybe I should sit down and be like, I'm sitting. Like, be in my body when I'm doing something. Because there's this thing called monkey brain where your brain is just like racing all the time. And you're always thinking like, what I'm going to do in the, when I'm at home or I have a test tomorrow or I need to go feed my cat or something. Something like that all the time in your brain and just to be present in the moment. So the other um, episode, I think they were talking about that. It was like how to deal with anxiety. And I know like this year, especially 2020, has been very like not <laughs> not fun for the most part. So we've all probably experienced some kind of anxiety through this year. And I think meditation, I might actually try it. Because senior year, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna want to do anything. Senioritis, you know? And, <laughs> um, also not being able to, like, hang out with friends or do what I want my senior year because we have to stay safe. And so I might actually try meditation. Or at least, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. I might not be able to do it all the time, but I'll definitely try to be present when I'm doing stuff. And th I think that's really what they wanted us, or the listener, to get out of it. Like, because I never would, I would never, like, last year, if you were like, oh, meditate, I'd have been like, <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Um, but I think they've really inspired me to do that and take a chance on meditation so I hope you guys go you guys should actually what was I gonna say I was gonna say that you guys should go this this like this channel this video is not sponsored because I have 15 su subscribers and no one's gonna watch this video but I think those who do watch should go check out the podcast, and I think you guys should check out their channels. Go check out Fearless and Farm. I'll link everything down below. Go check out Fearless and Farm. Go check out Yes Theory. Go check out the podcast, Yes Theory Podcast, and, like, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool if you subscribed as well and give this video a thumbs up and comment something down below comment hmm, comment something that's on your bucket list what you want to do it could be it could be as crazy as you want to invent flying monkeys whatever whatever you want to do in your life or experience comment that down below you know you can just write down one thing. I'm interested. Because I told you a couple of mine. So I want to know what yours are. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you stick around for my journey on YouTube. If I can. if For as long as I continue it. Because I'm really enjoying this. And I hope those who <laughs> are watching and you're like. This girl never talks. I hope you're not scared of me because I talked so much in this video. Um, Alright. I love you guys. Peace. Also, one more thing. You guys should go check out my Instagrams. I have two. Um, one of them, you can see all my photography because I'm really into photography. And the other, I actually just posted my bucket list and if you want to go check out my bucket list you can go see it there uh i also posted the podcast thing uh for spotify there so you can just go check that out uh yeah thank you guys bye